Pat's alloy connection has somehow awoken some abilities. I just move shit with my mind. I just keep hearing I, I, I. I just move shit with my freaking mind! <laughs> okay, that is something I do know. I do magic, talk to sentient cuffs, kill jacked up beasts. You know what? I'll probably fly next. Now you're just being ridiculous. Oh, that's too far. Good to know there's a line. If you could just master these new abilities, with my help, of course. Um, did you not just see me take out that gnarly beast? Corruption are forms of creation in themselves. Wow. You sound like a serial killer. What? Destruction and corruption are beautiful forms of creation in themselves. I don't sound like that. You absolutely sound like that. I know you absolutely sound like that. Yeah, see? So you can play at that game. You're fucking stupid. I could blend in a whole lot better if you shut the fuck up. But we're getting some pretty significant frame dips. This is running on performance mode, and you can tell this is downscaling pretty aggressively. And as a result, the whole thing looks just a little blurry. And even still, it's not locked at 60 frames. Spoken has the absolute wackiest minimum requirements. You need like a computer from the year 2030 just to be able to run the game at 30 FPS. It's actually wild. Sweet, did we crash? <laughs> oh, did we come crash? On. The choices you make now will define the legacy of Hogwarts. with it never being consistent on what and which is better. If you are on the PC, the performance is a little dog shit, okay? Bro, as soon as you touch Hogwarts, kiss half your frame rate goodbye, and this thing stutters like no tomorrow, okay? It stutters more than a 20-year-old used car, okay? God damn! On memory allocation, it will eat nearly all of my 16 gigabytes of VRAM if left to run long enough and it will take a further 10 gigabytes plus on my system RAM on top of that, which means there is huge amounts of data heaps being created on the fly on PC, and that can cause some of the issues we see in terms of judder and stutter. We don't have to do this. After all we've been through, it can't be for nothing. like it, but this here is not a bad read. Only one problem. Clippers. Where did you get that? The PC port is garbage! This game is unfinished. It's unforgivable. I... Sony should have done better. Sony was able to look at this game. They knew it. The fact that they didn't send out review codes, the fact that they didn't actually give any lead up, they were actually very vague about the PC requirements. Sony knew. Game may not be unable to boot despite meeting the minimum system requirements. Really? Really? Did you even like run the game at the office? We just need it being a PC port so badly optimized it makes the other remakes that came out this year seem like better investments for your time. And so we want to make sure that The Last of Us Part 1 PC debut is in the best shape possible. These additional few weeks will allow us to ensure this version of The Last of Us lives up to your and our standards. A place that's worth fighting for no matter the cost.
Survivor, a game in an awful condition on release on PC that really should not be released on PC at the moment. There are some times where you're just going to be struck in awe of how terrible the game looks. And the bummer is that this happens right about two hours and 10 minutes into the game. You know when Steam's refund policy expires? Two hours into the game. <laughs> gotcha, bitch. No traffic. No traffic. Looks like this portal's under maintenance. As soon as we breach the surface, jump to light speed. And uh, that was just not ideal for the narrative experience that this game was taking me on. My colleague Tom Morgan counted results roughly in the ranges on screen for the two modes on offer. That when I disable it and opt for actual native resolution, it's a blurry mess. The game is completely unplayably busted. So this is an RTX 4090, okay? All right, we're gonna hit start. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> Holy shit! Not only failed on those expectations, it lowered expectations looking forward. A number of serious graphical presentation issues on top of those performance issues that make its performance doubly confusing. We're looking at another title suffering from distracting stutter where the user has practically no agency to do anything about it. Changing from 30 to 40 to 50 frames per second depending upon what you're doing. But significantly, the frame times while this is happening are extremely erratic. Shadow maps update every frame along with that time of day system causing a very unstable and flickering image which is not only distracting, it can actually be annoying. No way she gets around this forklift. You will never see the sun again. They don't know shit about forklifts. I'll turn you inside out. What happened to you now? Redfall honors this rich legacy of PC ports with up to 14 frames per second gameplay on the lowest quality settings. Dying while in a menu in single player is absolutely ridiculous. Its performance on Xbox Series X is regularly dire, plagued with pop-in, stutters and a long list of display bugs. <laughs> I love how he says, I can do this forever. I think that's the best part. Making this game, Arcane needs to pick themselves up, dust themselves off, and take a good, long, hard look in the mirror. Oh, the mirrors don't work, never mind. 